Today, local leaders met with Senator Kirsten Sinema to address the migrant crisis and brainstorm solutions in case government funding for migrants runs out. Now, it has been confirmed that federal support for uh, undocumented immigrants is slated to end by March 31st. The News for Tucson's Gabrielle Parrish was at that meeting and spoke with Douglas residents on this pressing issue. It was made clear during today's meeting that local and state leaders don't have a plan in place to prevent migrants from sleeping on the streets. As I stand here at the border wall in Douglas, a community member tells me he is worried. The economy is already on a down slope. This is Douglas native Sebastian. He tells me he has lived here for 20 years and is now worried about the lack of federal funding to support migrants and how this will impact his community. The thing about Douglas, it would get kind of ruined in a way because they would be homeless. You really don't see no homeless around here. Uh, a lot of people asking for how um, and where the funds are going to come from. Like. Senator Kirsten Sinema made it known during today's meeting that funding from the federal government is not likely to happen, leaving state and local leaders to figure out a plan. We don't have a state budget that has millions upon millions of dollars to provide these kinds of services. And so I think it is quite likely that we will see mass street releases that start as early as April. Without federal funding, the mayor of Douglas informs me that this border town is unable to sustain helping migrants, but he's holding on to hope that help will come. I'm still an optimistic person and I still have hope that people will see the great disaster that this would be if they took away funding to be able to get these people out of our community. Sebastian's family has been rooted in Douglas for generations, and he finds it disheartening that local leaders haven't come up with a plan yet. It's really sad. It's really sad because at one time, a couple years ago, this was a community that was thriving in a way, you know, especially because uh, the border and a lot of people would come on this side. But um, yeah, it would be a big impact. During today's meeting, Senator Sinema said states are not responsible for border security. She criticized the Biden administration for not using existing laws to deter illegal activity in Congress for failing to pass legislation to address border issues along with the asylum system. Reporting from Douglas, I'm Gabrielle Parrish, News 4 Tucson.